Welcome to Friendly AI, I'm your host Mike Colangelo and this is about one small step for NVIDIA and one giant leap for moon landing non-believers. We landed on the moon. Get over it. I could just end the video right there, but I should really explain myself first, so here we go. Graphics card creator NVIDIA has debunked the moon landing conspiracy theories. The fact that this is still debatable after all these years makes me want to shit my pants and throw it in my eyes out of frustration. NVIDIA recreated the Apollo 11 moon landing using the Unreal Engine 4 and their very own global illumination technology. One picture in particular drives moon landing naysayers cuckoo, and that is this one with Buzz Aldrin exiting the lunar module coming down the ladder to land on the silky surface of the moon. Hopefully it was an attack by the fallen or the hive! <laughs> a little destiny joke for ya. I'm alone. Some people claim that this photo would be impossible because Buzz Aldrin should be in the shadow of the lunar module. But as you can see, he is illuminated, so there must be another light source other than the sun. Therefore, the 1969 moon landing was filmed in a studio or a desert with studio lighting. Let me explain something to people who believe this conspiracy. Light bounces and reflects. I'm not a scientist, and my IQ is below average, so shame on you. And video's demo shows that not only was the sun reflecting from the surface of the moon and a illuminating Buzz Aldrin, but Neil Armstrong, who was taking the photo, was also reflecting a large amount of light with his white spacesuit. So light from the sun came down, bounced off the surface of the moon and Lance Armstrong's spacesuit, and lit up Buzz Aldrin in the photo. Science. The reason NVIDIA did this experiment was to promote the new technology of its GeForce GTX 980 and 970 graphics card. And a very cool way of doing so, may I add. Of course I can add, I'm alone in my den. After this, I'm gonna take off my clothes and stand in the corner for eight hours and there's nothing you can do about it. Also, it's very cool to see the new lighting technology that will be in our video games, because when it comes to graphics, lighting is almost everything. If this doesn't convince you that the 1969 moon landing was real because this experiment was simulated inside a computer, then I do have some tangible evidence for you. This is called a retroreflector. These were installed on the surface of the moon during Apollo 11, 14, and 15 missions, and they were a part of a lunar laser ranging experiment, which measures the exact distance from the Earth to the moon using a giant ass laser. These laser ranging facilities are all over the world and are still used today, shooting the moon with their giant lasers all night like a galactic bukkake. The way it works is scientists measure how long it takes for the laser to reflect back to Earth, and that determines the exact distance between the Earth and the Moon. And the laser won't bounce back with the same strength and accuracy without the retroreflectors on the surface of the Moon. It's that simple. There wasn't a drone or a robot that could install the reflectors on the Moon in 1969. It had to be done by a man manually. Or a woman. A woman could have done it. If you still think we didn't land on the Moon, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I strongly disagree with you and I hope you find peace. The slow kiss. I'll leave links to my sources down below so you can see where I got my info. Let me know what you think. Did NASA land on the moon? And if you disagree with me, don't be shy. I will not judge you. And I lied. We didn't land on the moon. Aliens wouldn't let us. And even if they did, the radiation alone would have given us nut cancer. Aloysius has been to the moon and back, and it didn't cost him a billion dollars, just a PB&J sandwich. That's right, he brown bagged it. Follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you up to date with gaming news and my videos. Maybe we can go to the moon one day, you know, fill up a crater with beer, take a dip. Thank you very much for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You'd make me the happiest, sexiest boy in the world. Well, maybe not in the world, but perhaps Southern Ontario, or at least this room, forever alone, in the corner, crying naked. This shirt's reflecting like Neil Armstrong right now. Boy, I don't even need a light in here. <laughs> Can't say subscribe. 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 Syphilis. 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 Thank you very much for watching. And if you... I think the first one you did was the best. The first one was the best. Uh, uh.